A warm welcome and thanks for joining us on the Captain TV Prime Team News. I'm Emmanuel Ulububukun. Now we'll dive right into the news in details. Nigeria has dropped in five places worse and the 2021 Corruption Perceptions Index placed in the country as the second most corrupt country in West Africa after Guinea in is after Guinea is ranked 150 on the global index. The 2021 Corruption Perceptions Index CPI released globally by Transparency International on Tuesday in Abuja shows that Nigeria scores 24 out of 100 points, falling back by one point compared to last year. Here's the rest of the story. While the Nigerian government is consistently claimed that it is reducing corruption, Nigeria has been ranked five places worse on the 2021 Corruption Perceptions Index. According to the 2021 Corruption Perceptions Index released globally by Transparency International, Nigeria scored 24 points out of 100, placing Nigeria as the second most corrupt country in West Africa after Guinea's ranked 150 on the global index. According to the Executive Director, Sislak Hawal Ibrahim, the index reveals that corruption is getting worse in Nigeria. Nigeria is still battling with crisis of corruption where Nigeria scored 24 out of 100 points in the 2021 Corruption Perception Index hailing back one point compared to 2020 Corruption Perception Index in the country comparison for this year Nigeria rank 154 out of 180 countries, five places down compared to 2022 Corruption Perception Index results. This shows significantly that corruption in Nigeria is still a major challenge which requires collective efforts to combat corruption in Nigeria. As you all know today, for you to get admission into higher institutions, you have to pay bribe. For you to get even your exam or to even get your results, there's tendency that you are going to pay bribe. For you to get a job in Nigeria today, if you don't pay bribe, forget it. To get passport, international passport, if you don't pay bribe, forget it. To get driving license, if you don't pay bribe, forget it. Everything that has to do with public sector is embedded with the corruption. Political corruption in Nigeria is one major stumbling block to our actualization of democracy and good governance. People will steal money come and invest it in the election. We spend billions to organize the election only to end up bringing in crooks and criminals that will come and continue to perpetuate stealing in public sector. We cannot make progress if we continue this way. Sislak suspected a list of key weaknesses to explain why Nigeria may have not improved the numerous challenges facing the country. One of the weaknesses to be pointed is the failure to investigate high-profile corruption cases and prevent illicit financial flow, basing their claims on the Pandora Papers published in 2021. Following the pattern of two previous leaks, including the Paradise Papers and Panama Papers, which were released in 2016 and 2017 respectively, the Pandora Papers investigation exposes systems and secrecy jurisdictions that enable and abate crime, corruption, and illicit dealings by politicians, billionaires, influential individuals, and their enablers globally. Many of the individuals exposed are Nigerians, um, and among them we have uh, senators, heads of uh, important public bureaucracies, saving and past governors. However, no hardship has followed uh, the report 
even though it overlays for anti-graft agencies to do their work. Other weaknesses range from the COVID-19 pandemic and security, high unemployment and a sharp increase in government borrowings, amongst others. The level of financial recklessness and the abuse of budgetary processes and failures of the various NDAs in following due process of appropriation is very disturbing, to say the least. For example, the Auditor General of the Federation revealed that in that report, I'm referring to the 2019 report, reveals that the sum of 49 billion naira was spent by nine ministries, departments, and agencies without appropriation by the National Assembly. The systemic corruption in the Nigeria police force has sadly continued unabated and with the police at the front line of Nigeria's criminal justice system with enormous powers to investigate and prosecute crimes. This weakness puts the country in a bad light. The continuous absence of a whistleblower protection legislation leave Nigerians anti-corruption agencies deprived of key insider intelligence. There is a need for the Nigerian judiciary to speed up its delivery of judgments. The delay in treating high profile cases of corruption dampens the morale of anti-graft agencies. They also advise the government to implement their recommendations. The Nigerian police force should urgently investigate the unexplained disappearance of arms and ammunition as with a view to close the gaps. The government must ensure democratic and free civic space for engagement to the citizens and the media. In order to operationalize the anti corruption strategy to ensure that anti corruption efforts are not concentrated at the federal level. The ranking is coming at the heels of numerous challenges facing the country.